Hello and welcome to the world of madness. Now this is more of a rush video, but uh, we're just going to be talking about talking, building, that sort of thing this episode. Uh, been quite busy with school, nosy pigs. Been quite busy with schoolwork and such, so I didn't get my two videos out really for November here. I'm trying to get at least two. two. I mean, my plan was to do one a week, but that's not turning out just yet. So, what have we done since the last episode that you probably saw earlier today? Well, I've started working on the other side. I've decided on a appropriate width. Pillars are still in a good spot. So, let's, let's see the width here. And then we'll actually just talk a bit and uh, build out some more of these pillars. So, we can slowly expand on that. So, let's get over here. Let's grab our boat, actually. And get to play, play around with these silly new boat mechanics. Oh, which way? Wait, why is my boat back? I'm going to face my boat that way. Oh, whoop. What I don't get is why we can't press forward and have both oars row at the same time. That'd be too convenient, wouldn't it? Ooh. And turning in place is kind of weird. But, so there is the rough shade of structure. Uh, seeing that line there makes it kind of look... Oh, <laughs> I'm not going to get used to these, are we? They're interesting. I like that we have multiple colors. But yeah, that's roughly the size it's going to be. I haven't decided on these two end pillars. I'm thinking of making it uh, a butt out here quite a bit. Just to cantilever to overhang kind of design, design where it just seems to float up here. Uh, I'm probably going to get rid of our little viewing port here because it doesn't quite match in with the rest of the feel of the building. But we'll see what happens with that. I do like these are indestructible. <laughs> is, this a squid, is this a squid riding in my boat? Oh, yes it is. Dang it. Yeah, yeah I got nausea from the squid. Yeah, on my boat. I didn't know squids could ride in boats. Because everything can now. So yeah. That is the rough design of this pillar we're going to go up for. Holy cow, the pigs. I think we might have to do a culling. <laughs> get some action, get some pork chops. Uh, let us grab our small supply of cobble. We do have smooth stone now. So I think I'm going to do the filling in smooth stone. But the pillars for now are going to be cobble. Because I still want to build it in. We're going to... I realize it's not going to take as much coal. I completely forgot that charcoal existed and forests grow really easily. Oh. <laughs> we may not have it. We may not have any cough left. Well, um. I guess we can. Uh, mine out a new room here? <laughs> That's what these are for. Storage, storage room 1A. <laughs> room 1B. Right under the cow pen, which is roughly there, I think. Ooh, jeez. Was not expecting to be out of cobble. Let's just mine our labyrinths out a bit more while we talk. Let's turn the volume down, otherwise I'm going to deafen you. I was hoping to build here, so, um, hmm. Let's discuss while staring at a wall mining cobble. I do remember, though, kind of wish some of these old tricks worked, uh, Back in alpha, clicking between each block would be fa slightly fat, just slightly faster than mining them continuously because of not to add the delay between each block. That near when the end of uh, right after you broke the block, there'd be a delay before it would work on the one behind it. But it happened at the end of a block, so if you let go of your mouse and clicked again, you got the advantage that you'd clicked on the you because it started instantly. It didn't bother with this delay timer between them, so you mind about. I think it was about 25% faster or so. It was quite quite noticeable. Um, <laughs> it's not going to work so well when we have to use our cobblestone to fill back in a hole we just made. That looks ugly, though. So. Yeah. Mining faster was pretty cool. Uh, I think we'll have to go back to a... Oh, I, I, th I think we're going to have to at one point... Go back and play uh, Alpha. I think that would have been in the early... Oh, that was pointless. Go back and play Alpha. Uh, I think that would be now all the way to the end of Alpha. I don't think that was taken out until later in Beta. The click mining. It at least was there when I first started playing. And that would have been Alpha 1.2.0. The Halloween update. And was there when I was playing on servers. Still. So 1.2.2 Alpha? So, yeah, there's quite a few cool things you could do in there. Servers and Alpha are kind of silly. You could do double-clicking like that, and you could duplicate an item because 
the service side inventory and the client side inventory were different. To be fair, you could also use Cheat Engine and just edit your client side inventory and the server would believe you. But the one thing I, I found out really late in Alpha well, was, well, actually it was early beta before they removed the inventory, was that if you clicked, the item would appear, wouldn't appear appear there, so you could pick it back up and it would be in your client side inventory in your hand here. But shortly after, it would appear in the server there. And if you clicked again, you would merge the two, the one in your hand and the one in the server, before it realized that it should be taking it and putting it on the server. So you could duplicate a stack. You'd suddenly have an 8 and 8, and you'd get up to 16. And you could duplicate anything like that, anything that you could put in your inventory. Now, uh, that got fixed. <laughs> it was kind of game-breaking on servers. Because uh, on my one, the one server I played on, we tried to do a ultra hard ultra hardcore in alpha I'd quickly rigged up a alpha client that you had the the what is it the golden apple thing because recipes were stored in the client at that point and the rest with the recipe stored in the client client you had to give everyone a hacked client just to get them to use the right golden apple recipe so I passed that around to the people and it was gonna be a kind of survival UHC I guess but we didn't really decide. We were just doing playtesting on it. That was as far as we ever got. And that duplication bug came up. And that kind of broke everything. <laughs> that kind of spoiled the plans for that. Because I forgot how easy that thing was. <laughs> when you try and run a UAC. Even fairly close to the server. It's quite easy to do that bug. And. Well really in alpha. It wasn't so easy. We were just running into other problems. It No sprinting. So it's always slower. But. Yeah, that's not really a problem. We could have done that in beta, beta 173. Still have no sprinting. It probably would have worked quite well in that. So, that might be a future idea to try and get some people around, try and do a beta 173 UAC. That's got the nether, it's got uh, pistons. Quite a lot of cool stuff. I don't know why I'm just taking a straight tunnel here. Let's uh, branch off here. But yeah, beta, beta had some quite fun stuff. I can't quite remember all the cool tricks and stuff I used to remember and such like that. But beta in beta is when I really got into starting with redstone and met some people on the server I played on. And yeah, we were doing pistons. I was getting quite good at piston. Pistons, redstone, I was working into the logic a little bit. Did just some basic stuff, not really too much. That didn't really happen until uh, later after the adventure update. Eight, one, eight, well, not just the adventure I played, uh, but uh, 181 and such. Oh, what the... Oh, wait, is it just something about this? Yeah, it's something about this location here. Still got a lot of bugs in this snapshot. We're still on 43C. Unfortunately, most of the cool things aren't working, like the custom crafter tables and the assembler tables, which are all kind of needed for doing all the other cool stuff that's on the server. Okay, I think we got a, we got a, what, a, sta a couple stacks. Let's just go build for a bit. But yeah, all the custom crafters, which I'll show you. The custom crafter table gets it, the initial part works but the turning it into an actual custom crafter where we can make the cool craft, custom crafting recipes which I was hoping to show at some po point doesn't quite work right now yeah you see here this is a custom crafter grid uh, I don't have anything to show on the recipes but the disassembler right now which is also just a custom craft right now this is the recipe for a disassembler cobblestone TNT and redstone so when I put this in here this custom crafter should have turned into a disassembler, which means I could uh, get the component parts of items out. Fortunately, you can't do that right now, so we're kind of stuck. But let's just empty chest. Yeah, haven't gotten. I got got everything for enchanting. We can go get stuff. Haven't done that yet. We're having quite fun just building, surviving. No ar no armor. Using an iron axe. Just work just fine. I'm not sure what time of day it is, but let's just jump outside. I had the water there, so I wasn't taking fall damage constantly as I did that. And still the coolest the cool thing on this up. <laughs> yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Still cool thing is updates, the ability to have stuff in two hands. Really, torches are the best. Nope, oh, not with that. But like, pickaxe out, place a torch. That is cool. That's one of the coolest things that's been added to one, this new update. I haven't really tried out too many features of the new update. Uh, still have to make a shield. Nope. Is <laughs> the rain sound from the weird bed sleep mechanics that the server uses to allow that 
canceling, uh, like one person on the server that one person can, uh, can, uh, toggle sleep for everyone. Just one person has to be in bed. Anyone who objects can click on the cancel link here, click the cancel, and it will, uh, it will stop the night cycle, It'll pop the person out of bed, I believe. So yeah, you don't have to have everyone go to bed on a server to sleep, which is quite nice. Okay, so we're back up here. These are eight blocks apart. There's eight blocks between these and then the pillars, so I usually do this. Oop. Seven, eight. So now here is our... Oop. <laughs> Falling down here. It's these two. That is our pillar. We can build that down to the ground here. What do you mean a dirt foundation isn't good enough? <laughs> you don't need standards for construction. And we'll just don't have a have a bit not not as much ladder as we would have liked, but we'll make do. We'll put them in a spot where we can save a couple ladders there. And I don't actually know. I don't think I've counted. I think it's eight, but it's eight or ten, but just gonna build up until I'm level with the one over there. Try not to leave holes in the pillar. And yeah, this is basically what I would be doing between episodes is building this thing up. We'll just pillar over to this one on the front column. Wish we had the inventory tweaks, but that's kind of a client side thing. And now no. Playing on the snapshots is more fun than using uh getting Having, having all the client side tweaks and stuff like that, though, I think I think that one might be possible. Three, four, there's our overhang. We're just overhanging by four right now. And as you can see, the scale of this room, it's oop, it's quite big. So we so really the room's gonna go probably one out of the overhang. I believe it was good. I'm going to build more out there. It's not just going to be like a flat glass window. I think I'm going to have vertical styling, I'm thinking, in there. Like uh, striped bars and a semi-regular pattern. Something like like a stripe and then a hollow. Oh, that was a bad example. But yeah. Stripe and hollow type design. So a nice repeating pat pattern similar to some of the existing brutalism structures. Um, let us... Get up top here. That's the one spot that doesn't have one there. I don't believe there is an e there is a way of getting up there. Ladders scattered in weird places. And I don't actually have a proper ladder to get onto there. So the way up there is near our death. Oop. One thing I really like about the snapshot, I don't know if you've no anyone's noticed this, is that saturation reveals your hunger. Because I'm not a f well. I'm not, I mean, I had enough that would have normally healed it, but the saturation heals hunger faster than the food bars. The food bars use a lot of hunger, but it just, it'll chew through your saturation, but you can heal up at, like, one haunch if you just eat an apple. Eat an apple, eat a carrot, something like that. That's quite a nice fe feature. It makes it so, you, so, uh, combat's quite a lot easier. It's, it's more, you have a bit more strategy in the combat. It's not, you try and keep your hunger as full as possible, and it'll slowly heal. You might want to keep your hunger fairly low, but your health full, and so when you're in combat, you can eat and keep eating. Use your saturation up, even if you feel your hunger, because the saturation lasts for like half a second, but it gives you, it's basically the same as a golden apple. It heals two hearts or something like that. It heals about two hearts going through saturation, at least of a carrot. I'd imagine cooked, uh, uh, cooked beef would do a lot more. Nice steak. Steak uh, probably has double the saturation of carrots, so I'd imagine that'd be quite impre impressive, that. So we're just going to extend this out as far as I can and not try not fall off because I, I barely survived that fall. So let's just get this up to about there. Yeah. Oh, we're almost there. Let's just uh, extend it all the way. Still not sure what I'm going to be building here. I'm thinking we have a build another tall structure that will dwarf this one. So building going that way that's taller than this. So not just another overhang or something like that. But for now, we'll just build this as a complete room. Goal is probably to finish this off before 
before we go on to anything else. Now, I've probably been rambling quite a bit, a bit here, just showing you building, talking, reminiscing about the good old days of Minecraft Alpha and Beta. And I guess we'll have to see you next week. I've got still got quite a bit of uh, work to do. Do for school. Got an assignment due tomorrow, so I'm going to have to work on that. Apologize for having two episodes up in one day. Uh, plan was to have the last one, uh, the other the previous episode, episode three, that was supposed to be up last week, but I didn't get it done editing. Um, so yeah, our structure is coming along. Still haven't account, oh, still haven't account anyone online when I want to record. Oh well, well, I have to do. Uh, have to meet the other guy, new guys. See how he's going. Try to find a time with him. Uh, who is that? Uh, for on their name already. You can see how good I'm with names. <laughs> anyway, this being uh, Chartreuse, and have a nice day.